So from the standpoint of communities, um, the, the question is a fundamentally different question than the one that uh, has been posed so far, because to them, an advanced communications network is a platform and driver for everything that is important to their community. Um, and they're not thinking of it in terms of a profit-making venture that they should get into, even to provide competition to the uh, incumbent carriers if they believe that the incumbent carriers aren't serving the community well. But, you know, but think, think of communities as you would have thought of communities looking at electrification a century ago, where having access to electricity enabled so much to happen that was meaningful to the community. Here, now, communities across the country are looking at advanced networks as drivers and platforms of economic development and education, healthcare, uh, public safety, smart transportation, and on and on. Just about everything that you can think of will be enabled by advanced communications networks, and you can see simultaneous progress in every one of these areas over the same uh, network. So, so communities right now are eager to work with willing incumbents or to work with uh, new entrants like Google and others uh, to do it themselves if they can't find um, uh, willing incumbents or uh, new, ent new entrants like Google, and there are many, many communities across the country that will not see a Google or will not see a willing incumbent partner. And so uh, right now we're seeing across the country uh, great interest in all of these things, particularly public-private partnerships, where communities are looking for business models that can uh, make the networks work for them, work for private partners, and get those networks out there.